If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay, what is thy content today? By the way, guys, for the record, this is just a, just my opinion. People don't have to agree with this. I'm usually not a fan of uh, promos where the cards are not absolute. And they're like, oh, this card could be this. This card could be that. But that's just me. That's just me. Okay. Um, it was the same with RTTF. You know what? The Champions League and all that kind of stuff. So, but, you know. Okay, let's see here. Players. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'll see. Oh, this guy. A center back, eh? Anticipate plus, slide tackle plus. Huh. Okay. Buon Giorno. Buon Giorno. Six foot four, medium high, three star, three star, mostly lengthy left footage. Good play styles. His block, he has anticipate plus, slide tackle plus, bruiser. Yeah, not bad. Block is a really like big one. Really, really big one. So that's actually solid. Inked pass, first touch, and aerial. Really good play styles, to be fair. Um, four different upgrades on this card. Four defenders and goal carriers player. She has one clean sheet. For Torino? Okay. Wins next two games. Player makes three appearances in the next four games. Club scores 11 goals in the next four games. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This card has a lot of potential. Yeah, he has a lot of potential. If he actually performs well in game, base card stats-wise... He, de he definitely has potential, for sure. Serie A giving you the Italian links as well. Yeah, not bad. Because the pace as of right now is going to be in a great spot by default. Um, let me just see this real quick. Okay, sorry. Um, so this card right now on a shadow is going to have 91 acceleration, 91 for sprint speed. Very good defensive stats. And base card stats for physical is set up in a very good area, too. If he gets, I would say, minimum two upgrades, he's... I mean, the card already looks pretty decent right now. Um, 91 Acceleration, 91 Sprint Speed is actually a really solid spot for a mostly lengthy player. Defensive stats are there, pace is there. Yeah, I mean, dribbling, a hit, he's got really high reactions at a 91. 83 for Composure, passing stats also pretty decent as well. Okay. He's, the thing is, with me, is that he's left-footed, right? It's nice to have players that play in this league that are left-footed that can be played in the left center back position, you know? For like the shots across and stuff. So that's actually interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the card and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, so team is not um team is not super important to look at when it comes to this. It's more so defending capabilities. If I was like reviewing some attackers, then I would attack normally, but yeah, um, let's just go try him out, see how he defends. Oh, didn't get an animation there. Probably got a slid there, to be fair. Let me turn on the Elgato for you guys here. First pass was actually good there. Trying to get a corner kick here, at least. Let's see here. Ruben Acer. Switch. Cross the ball around here. There he is. And I put way too much power on it. Do I get this, though? So I wanted to see what his uh, quick transition was like, just forcing a run like crazy and then turning. Didn't notice anything crazy special there, but it was fine for how most of the defenders react in those situations. And we get a penalty. So we'll definitely take that. Let's see here. What's his penalty? He's got to be terrible, right? 61. Bottom left. That worked out.
There you go. Those situations where you want to try out the slide tackle. Nice slide tackle again. Wara penalty. <laughs> he stops playing for a little bit, so I had to switch back and then get the animation off with him there. His, uh, his dribbling is actually quite nice. Definitely better than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Oh, did, well, did well enough there. I'll take that. block just have to block that general vicinity you guys won't believe this but having a block play style it's helpful for that stuff like it's 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 bad that it exists like that but it's kind of how it works nowadays you know first to it yeah leg round switch with uh, the strong foot there that's why I like left foot on the left side. Uh, technically, going into an offside position is part of a play, so... Oh my goodness, what a save. Almost gets that one too, okay. He does have a little bit of an aerial on him, right? So he has a potential of scoring those bad boys. Oh, wow. Oh, that could have been bad right there. They both went for the animation, eh? <laughs> Oh, at least they didn't give the penalty. Sometimes they do for like a follow through challenge, and that's like super annoying when they do that. Like a follow through after you take the shot is not a penalty. They used to count those as pens all the time back in the day, man. It was crazy. Leg rain switch. There you go. Nice little challenge there. Oh, I tried to challenge him like three times there. <laughs> Get the defensive play there from the interception. Oh my goodness, what was that? He almost gets to that actually. He actually magnetized that challenge there. Could have been decent. What is this running? My Benacer uh, <laughs> still does work, eh? 
you guys can see my controller there. That running with controlled lengthy, why he slows himself down? I don't know. I don't know. That was actually a bad pen. I think I think he was trying to, cha try to challenge the other guy. Buongiorno. I'll take that. Is that his name, Buongiorno? Is that what it is? Like, hello? Isn't it? Isn't that what it means in Italian? Did Scrinier block that or was that him? I don't know actually. It might have been Scrinier right here, let me see. Yeah, that one was Scrinier, okay. Oh, no interception there. No interception there, okay. I'm telling you guys, that's why I really like Intercept Plus, man. Intercept Plus, when you're manually defending, it's it's uh, it's clutch, dude. See, I try to reach that uh, slide challenge from a huge distance away. Try it out, though. Try it out. We also score from midfield. No chance. Oh, I'll try to see if I can get a crazy block there. Craziness. Ha! <laughs> Imagine if I scored with him. I'm telling you, Ben Asser is like that guy. If you were to get like an actual good promo card, oh. Okay, guys, so final verdict on this uh, Fantasy FC card. So listen, man, with, this prom with these promos, with the upgrade promos, uh, I hope one day they cease to exist because I think doing these types of cards when they're not absolute cards is a little bit cringy um, because I'm going to explain to you guys perfectly, okay, with this card. This card... It doesn't feel anything crazy special as of right now, right? But it has the variable of the Fantasy FC, right? It's kind of a similar situation to Alex Scott where I can't tell you guys, like, hey guys, you should do this SBC or you shouldn't do this SBC. It's one of those very hard ones to tell because I'm gonna tell you why. This one requires the EA sauce. You know the sauce? It requires the EA sauce. Sometimes they do this with some of their cards. You know, there was a year specifically where Showdown Rodrigo was significantly better than before the upgrade. Uh, there was some years where, you know, they had some fantasy cards that got significantly better after the upgrades as well. So in order for you to do this SBC, because you want a left-footed center back that plays for the Serie A, it is because you have the faith that they're going to add that special sauce on this card because base characteristics-wise, I'm not noticing too many things. And sometimes this happens, right? Because obviously with the non-rare version, they're not going to do anything to this card, right? They ha he has a block, he has an aerial, but there's nothing, you know, super special about him. Now, in-game, obviously having Anticipate Plus and Slide Tackle Plus can be very nice play styles. A regular block also can be very nice too. But as of right now, I'm just not seeing anything like crazy special out of him. And, and as you guys know, I'm really, really about that life when it comes to using full meta defenders. Like, dude, this team that you guys see here, this is just for the SBC accounts, right? If I was being serious, like I'm using like full meta defense in this game in particular, like I feel like you need it. Now, with the SBC costing 112K and the fact that he can get four upgrades, I feel like that's the key thing that we actually have to take a look at more than what the card currently is. Because currently, I'm not notici noticing anything special, but you guys know how EA works. Maybe they drop a, they drop some, sa some sauce on this card, he gets two upgrades, all of a sudden he's like a full meta card. I don't know, it's, it's really tough to say right now because as of right now, it's nothing crazy, right? So let's go ahead and just check out Torino's games, right? 
Uh, apparently, this guy just came back from injury, too. So I don't know if he'll start the games, but that's going to be... Um, that's going to be a thing to take into consideration, okay? So, let's review more games here. Not review, but check out more games here. All right. Uh, aren't these games like February 12th or 23rd? I don't know how this works. Oh, 28th. Okay, so this one actually says the 28th. Okay. Because I am I get a little bit confused sometimes, right? All right, so Torino lost to Roma 3-2. So, they have Fiorentina, Napoli, and Udinese. Four games, right? And it's also Monza. So for defenders and goalkeepers, player achieves one clean sheet. Uh, I think a clean sheet's doable. I think a clean sheet's doable. One clean sheet, that's a plus one from that, I think. Club wins two games in the next. Uh, I, th I think it's possible. Definitely possible. Two games out of the next four? Yeah, that's a possibility. Player makes three appearances. That's the tough one because apparently, like I said, he just came back from injury, right? So club scores 11 goals in the next four games. I think basing that off of previous results is a pretty big waste of time, right? But scoring 11 goals in the next four games? I don't think Torino's that sort of team, you know? Like, if you told me, like, a Man City score 11 goals in the next four games, then we're talking, you know? But Torino, I don't really think they're that type of team to score that many. But you guys know, man, it's football. Who knows what can happen? So, I mean, you're looking at this SBC from, like, two upgrades, right? Uh, the only thing that I can tell you guys is that if you uh, if you choose to get this card, it's because you think EA will add special sauce to him from at least two different upgrades. That's all I can really say, because these promos, I'm not a fan of these promos, man, personally. But you guys know how I am with these things. Even RTTF, you know, RTTF was a boring promo, too, because it's cards that, oh, they upgrade later. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. That's just my opinion. I like I like cards that are concrete. Future Stars, Winter Wild cards. You know, concrete cards. But that's just me. Anyways, I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.